Did you know the peak of hurricane season is less than a month away now? Well, experts have updated the season's forecast and meteorologist Corey Smith explains what this could mean for our weather. We've already seen our first hurricane of the season, but other than that, things have been really quiet here in the United States. So you might be a little bit surprised to know that NOAA actually last week increased their amount of expected storms for the rest of the hurricane season. Now expecting six to 11 hurricanes, two to five major hurricanes as you go throughout the next couple of months. And there's really one big reason for this, and that is ocean temperatures. Over the last four months, we've been setting global temperature records, and you can see the numbers right here. They speak for themselves. Middle to upper 80s, close to 90 degrees in portions of the Gulf of Mexico, 80s as you get outside of that region, and you only need low 80s to sustain a pretty decent hurricane. So we're dealing with a lot of energy to work with if we see these storms forming. And that's really the thing is we haven't. And there's been a couple of things playing into that as we look across the Atlantic Basin. The first of that is going to actually be some drier air. Saharan dust is picked up with the trade winds. And you'll see that that is really widespread across the Atlantic right now. And that's been the case for a good portion of this tropical season so far. We've seen waves moving off the coast but then they start to die out as they interact with this drier air. We also are in the middle of El Nino. This increases wind shear, which pretty much rips apart these storm systems. You can see that subtropical jet here in that orange arrow, and that is where we typically see higher winds during this time of the year that interacts with those tropical systems. But going forward, it looks like things could change a little bit here. The National Hurricane Center watching a couple places and we're watching some areas as well for potential tropical development over the next couple of weeks. The first one would be an area in the Gulf of Mexico that could bring potentially a weaker system, at least some tropical moisture into portions of Louisiana and Texas, and also a couple of waves moving off the African coast. Of course, if these turn into systems, that could impact us here in South Carolina. We'll let you know. In the studio, I'm the Team Meteorologist Corey Smith. All right, thank you so much, Corey. And while there have been five storms this season in the Atlantic, there have already been seven named storms in the Pacific, with likely more on the way.